Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are diving into the enchanting world of Eldrain and our first deck in this mystical realm is the Raktos Red deck. Eldrain offers a multitude of unique red creatures and red related cards, making it a good competitive and flexible deck. Despite their small stature, never underestimate how quickly and impressively reds can swarm the battlefield, so let's delve deeper into this deck's strategy. One of the most intriguing aspects of this deck is the flexibility of each creature. While we do pack a few burn spells like Torch the tower, also removal cards such as Red Out, also Candy Grapple. Our primary strategy revolves around flooding the battlefield with as many reds as possible. To unlock the full potential of this deck, we must also sacrifice small reds tokens. Our key creatures in this red centric saga include Lord Skitter, Sewer King, the mighty king of the reds, renowned for building a menacing red army. By exiling cards from our opponent's graveyard, we not only weaken their resources but also generate additional red tokens. Then we have also Totem Tunnel. Swarm Piper grants us a red token for every fallen creature and it also empowers our reds with death touch ability, enabling us to tackle even the mightiest creatures. Voracious Vermin may be a common card, but it plays a pivotal role in this deck, providing us with an extra red token and bestowing plus one plus one counters upon this creature each time one of them perishes. My personal favorite is Lord Skitter's Butcher, uh, which allows us to sacrifice a token, rewarding us with Scry 2 and an additional card draw. We have also included some backup options to bolster our creatures like Tethered Dretter, uh, which grants blocked creatures plus 2 plus 0, making our red tokens a lethal force to reckon with. Essential to this deck is both its speed and card drawing potential, that's where Lord Skitter's Blessing comes into play, allowing us to create a roll token that permits us to draw an extra card every turn. Then we have also another creature, Twisted Sewer, which is another invaluable asset, providing roll tokens to all our creatures, further enhancing our synergy. Then we have also a Sorcery Song of Totem Tons, how we can flood the battlefield with rats, and each of them will also gain this roll our token. Uh, it's, it's a cool card, you can see also the Fluid from this Totem Tan Swarm Piper. Here it's the this creature card, a human warlock bard, and then in total we are packing 24 lands with 15 swamps, 9 mountains. And yeah, now it's time to put our deck to the test and, and engage in some thrilling games. Hello everyone, welcome back to this block match, and we are playing against Sans. I'm very curious which set deck he has chosen for us so let's see and we are playing with our Raktos red deck from Wilds of Eldrain and yeah that's a decent hand we have four lands we have also candy grapple that we can use with voracious vermin that provides us with one uh, red token so we can sacrifice this oh so it's a Phyrexian uh, toxic deck let's see if there is another color oh wow okay that's a blue black toxic deck i have seen like uh white green or mono white toxic decks but never a black blue toxic deck so nice um then we have also lord skitter sewer king one of my favorite cards so we can also exile cards from the opponent's graveyard and pestilence uh, siphoner oh so maybe we should uh kill the other toxic creature so they are not able to block and we have already three toxic counters that's uh that might be a problem also we don't have any creatures besides the uh flying red creature three four that can block flying creatures but mm, that will be difficult actually also we have no burn spells at the moment and yeah two copies of lord skitter so let's see what we can do Wow, also a red uh, Phyrexian creature, Karumonix the Red King, wow, looks amazing. So yeah, they will attack with both creatures, M we might block maybe with Voracious Vermin. Yeah, we have to be very careful, nice. So here we have Candy Grapple, first we'll cast Lord Skitter, we can also exile the creature and then yeah we shouldn't attack and next turn I think we will go for candy grapple and kill one of those creatures let's see oh another red Phyrexian red creature cool okay more land is not bad and hmm 
all of these creatures are very dangerous for us. Toxic one and flying. So we will we'll exhale this card and yeah we can also attack. Let's see, maybe they will block the Lord Skitter at least. So we can also cast another copy. Hmm, okay, they are not blocking. So we will wait. And we still have Candy Grapple that we can use. We might block also with Tethered uh, Rattar. I mean, in this case, we don't need actually this creature. Nice, so they're attacking with all the creatures. So we can block the Rat, 2-2, two, two, and let's see, we can also... Yeah, Aspirant Ascent, until end of turn, target creature gets plus one plus zero. So yeah, we will use that and kill this creature. And sacrifice one of our red tokens. Profile rate, so uh, there is nothing. But still, we will receive two more toxic counters. Oh, eight. Now we have eight, so we received three. Aspirant, Ascent. Yeah, we have to be careful. I suppose that our opponent might have more of these. But we'll exile the creature and create more rats. So actually we can only attack with the tokens and maybe also with Lord Skitter. And I will just keep the Tethered Rattar and the Twisted Sewer Witch. I mean, they might kill one of these creatures, but then we will just receive one toxic counter. Oh yeah, they have uh, the flying creature, I just forgot. But, I mean, we can attack with all of these, let's see. Actually, 2, 4, 6. 8. Yeah, they're dead. Wow. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> okay. Unexpected, actually. That's a very cool deck, a blue-black toxic deck from the set um, Phyrexia All Will Be One. And I believe there are uh, a lot of different kind of decks that you can create with toxic. Um, we have seen the white mono, mono white toxic deck, also the green white toxic deck. I have seen also the green black toxic deck and I would be very interested in uh, making a green black toxic deck because they contain a lot of Huge creatures with toxic void wing hybrid. Um, let's cre let's um, yeah kill this creature. It's a flying creature, so we have to be very careful. Toxic and yeah, flying and toxic is a very dangerous combination. So, at but the good thing is we have also torched the tower, so we can um, kill another flying creature. I'm just thinking, maybe we should create some red tokens and then we can also use Lord Skitter's butch Butcher or Butcher. So we'll um, sacrifice one red token because yeah, they are not very helpful right now. Shield Reds, Heat uh, Head Cleaver, wow. 2 4 with Menace and Toxic 2. So let's. Exile the flying creature and then yeah, let's see what our opponent will do. Okay, here we have again the 1-1 one, one creature with toxic. So we'll not attack. Uh, we will not block. We have only actually one creature that is able to block, so it doesn't make any sense. And then Lord Skitter's Butcher. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Actually, we need more lands. And then... Yeah, with Candy Grapple we can also kill, for example, Shieldred's Head Cleaver. But this creature is not that dangerous, actually. Let's see. We will attack first, free damage for our, uh, for our opponent. And turn. 
Yeah, this hand is actually quite good because uh, we have so many possibilities. Lord Skitter's Butcher, also Burn Spell, Removal Spell, and also the Lord Skitter's Blessing. Mm, Song of Totem Tons also. Yeah, the problem is the missing land. So they attack with both creatures. Actually, we can use Torch the Tower also to scry. I think that's good. So we can also plan our next step. Oh, they will Aspirant Ascent. Oh, plus one, plus three. Mm, yeah, we can actually also use on the Shieldred's Head Cleaver. And Sacrifice, let's see. Uh, come on, don't tell me they have another Aspirant Ascent on their hand. They have. Ah, that's bad. Oh my god, okay. This card only costs one mana, seriously. One plus one plus three and Scry. Okay, so Lord Skitter is a butcher. We can exile. We can also sacrifice and then we'll draw a card. So Torch the Tower might be useful. Let's um, wait and then actually we can also block with Lord Skitter's Butcher and um, Blind Belly Rat. I'm just thinking, shall we also block with Lord Skitter's and Lord Skitter's Butcher together? Shield with Head Cleaver. If they have something, we can also use Torch the Tower. Hmm. Yeah, let's block first with the Butcher. Oh, Voracious Vermin. Nice. So, yeah, we will just Butcher all the uh, tiny rats. Mm, one ca we can... Or, yeah, one we can put under the library. One we'll take. Let me think, or maybe two. I mean, do we need that ma that many lands? I think one will keep. So let's uh, play the land and no attack. Yeah, I just keep the torch the tower in case they are going to attack. Oh, they are, they are not attacking. Strange. So, Voracious, Voracious Vermin. And then we can attach Lodge Skitter's Blessing. And we still have the red mana opened. So, yeah, it looks very good for us right now. And we'll just wait. Yeah, we are in a very fine position right now. Our opponent only has like three cards, but we have we have a huge battlefield. Oh, they can also just give us uh, poison counters with sorcery and yeah, with sorcery spells. Mm. <clears throat> so here we have the second mountain. Actually, we can also use, um, yeah, we cast Tangled Colony, Exile, and Ratcatcher Trainee. And we can start atta to attack with the, uh, with the small red tokens. So, let, let it begin. And the good thing is we have also the vermin, so it will also grow. So it will get two counters. It's a 4-3 creature. And yeah, we will also attack with the Tangled Colony. Here we have another Shieldred's Head Cleaver.
Mm, Lord Skitters, you were king again? Oh, perfect. Tether Tretter. That's the card that we need. And then we can also use how many mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, next turn we will do that because Song of Totem Tons, we can pay X. X is then the um, amount of rats that we will get. And all the creatures will also get haste. So that's a good card. And they will lose the rat because Tether Tretter will give also plus two plus zero. Exactly perfect. Oh, profilate. So we'll get counters, is it? Oh yeah, we are getting. So six poison counters. Exile the rat. And the head cleaver. So yeah, next turn then they might be actually dead. <clears throat> also with voracious vermin. Yeah, Lord Skitter's Blessing is an amazing card. I really like it because, yeah, I always want to draw cards. Profilorate. And yeah, it's very difficult actually to draw cards in this set. But one of those really good cards is Lord Skitter's Blessing. And also the Butcher is very useful. So sometimes... Um, you cannot do anything with those small rats that are not able to block, so it's better to sacrifice them. So, Song of Toten Tans, or... Yeah, let's cast it. 6-7. Yep. Or... Hmm. I'm just... Yeah, let's do 6. We'll keep the 1 mana. In case they have maybe a... Um, flying or haste toxic creature. Uh, now we have to do this, okay. And let's attack with all the creatures, I would say. Yeah, besides 6, 10. Yeah, we cannot kill them by when we will attack with all. 2, 4, 6 they will yeah they will survive no actually they would be that i okay i just missed it ah, anyway <laughs> okay so yeah it's very cool to see a black blue uh, toxic deck um yeah and the red deck is very i mean uh if you don't have a um cards that you can just vanish the whole battlefield it's very difficult to compete against red uh, red tribal decks because they are so small and they can just develop a huge army so yeah that was the block match thank you for watching if you like my format um then please subscribe and see you next time bye bye